and welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, just getting in here today, and let's go adventuring after I set my waypoint. Third time I've forgotten. Home. I turn home blue. There. Home. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna need. If I could just find some copper, I'd be quite happy. Oh, considerate. Uh, usually since I found considerate. Not guaranteed. Too bad. found copper nearby like right here so here's the thing if there's usually a uh, surface metal then there's usually actually uh, underground metal too now there is a pretty small chance that it uh, doesn't have the underground metal, but it's usually a pretty good chance that it does. So, first thing I'm going to do is use some of this. Make myself a new shovel because I don't feel like digging this out by hand. There we go. And I probably should have made some torches. You know, I don't think I've Oh, and yeah, I've done it once in this entire thing. And... But yeah, it usually shows that... Oop. Very large sample of native copper. There you go. That proves that within this range, there is actually some copper. It's within 12 blocks. And if you find that uh, very large sample, that usually means that there's, uh, it's between like three to six blocks away. Because it goes by traces, small amount, then uh, large amount, and very large amount. Very large being the closest there is. Now the way I'm uh, doing this uh, mining is uh, a three stair uh, way. This isn't the most efficient if you're mining for ores, but I th think it's pretty good for uh, getting you pretty close to the, uh, getting you down far pretty fast without uh, risk of caving in and it's pretty easy to get back up like I just showed you <laughs> but yeah since that did show traces uh, it's not showing anything down there oh. nothing of interest very large so it's somewhere around here I'll be sad if I die. Flood Jade. Those uh, gems aren't really worth much. And it, is it actually becoming night again? Is it seriously becoming night? Yeah, well, I can't uh, survive the night right now because I'm not even partially underground. <laughs> uh, let's go home for a second. Sleep the day away again. Or night. The good news is we'll have enough uh, dacite stone to probably finish that when we're done. And let's just sleep. 
luckily I have enough uh, surface metal to probably survive a uh, couple of days. And I'm going to need something else. Yeah, I have almost enough uh, zinc, so that sphalerite would probably make a full thing of zinc. Uh, I had a different idea that I wanted to do, but I can't do that right now. I can, however, check that it's June. And, uh, July is... I can't remember which fruit, uh, bears produce on, uh, July, but I... I know that at least one or two of them does. I think cherries and something else. because I have a different idea of what I'm going to do for uh, torches. It's going to be more of a portable thing for me. Mostly because I don't want to have to deal with it. Hm. Yeah, it should be right there. Yeah. Now, there's also a different way to get up and down from a uh, places is to build right next to water. In which case you can literally just mine a huge hole in the ground. Be warned that uh, that does happen. And that actually happens a lot more often the more uh, you go down. And since I did run into some copper around here, I gotta be careful. careful because of it, I just should be careful regardless. There we go. Hmm. I have a certain method to my madness. Doesn't always work though. That's the sad fact. And there we go. Actually, those are good if you're actually looking for ore, because it'll, uh, ore does not fall. And this is slightly easier to break. <laughs> Sad fact of the truth. And since I have a 1 in 40% chance, guarantees that there's not enough ore around here, but as you see now, I've lost my stairs. <laughs> uh, Try not to waste this entire pick, because until I get, like, steel, this is pretty much the only thing I have. Also, do take note that you do not, you cannot make this uh, smooth stone without doing a specific thing, which is, in fact, I'm actually going to be doing it, not so much as a demonstration, but as more of a, I need it. <laughs> there. You have to break all six uh, surrounding blocks and you can get one piece of stone. Very hard to do unless you have a specific way of doing it, which I actually do, but it's not the most efficient. <clears throat> I can make maybe... Uh, I can't 
can't remember what the actual number was, but it, uh, it was a pretty hefty amount of uh, smooth stone, but I do not prefer that way because it's a very long and boring process. Now, hmm. that means it's this way. somewhere in this direction, actually. It's somewhere within this range. It's also within a couple of blocks up and down, so this is kind of difficult to do normal mining because you can't really rely on uh, just luck. This ore is actually quite difficult to obtain if you're not careful. Because these picks do not last forever. They really do not last. And you can't just go busting through every uh, stone you want. And until I can get copper, I'm pretty much stuck with a, a low durability tool. Once I get a copper, I'm pretty much set for, uh, once you get a vein, you're pretty much set for quite a while because it takes, I think, four pieces of normal ground ore to equal, I think, 16 pieces of normal ore that's on the surface. Nothing of interest. Very large sample. Very large sample. Large sample. Okay, this means that it has to be over here. And I know this is difficult to actually understand. In fact, I barely know it myself. Nothing of interest. Very large sample. That means it's possible, it's not very likely that it's below us right now, because, oh, let's consider it, because if you, uh, oh, this goes in directions, but it does not go diagonal, so, it could be that there's extra ore over there, which, since this says large uh, sample, that means that this is this was very large. And usually I would have support beams, but you can't get those now till you have uh, a saw. And this seems like uh, an ore for some reason. Nope. And yeah. This is probably the most efficient way to avoid caving in, but it doesn't get you the most uh, ore. And if you use my, if you use my normal uh, branch mining technique, you're more likely to actually have a cave in. So that doesn't work now for this uh, mod. Though I'm going to use it anyway because it sometimes leads you to ore. Actually, it's more likely to lead you to ore, but it's, again, more likely to cause a cave-in than uh, get you ore. <laughs> Waste about a good 15 minutes just looking for ore. I'm pretty sure I'll probably kill myself before I find ore. Sad truth of the, uh, the fact. Okay, making sure I can still get up here. Where's the sun? I'm guessing it's just about to set. And it should be... Yep, it's setting. Hey, 
the danger to this way is that it's not protected at all from things to fall down. And yeah, it's already starting to get dark in here. And very large. Very large. It's within it's within that range, so I'm gonna have to sleep and check tomorrow. This is the long and annoying process of uh terraforming craft. Luckily, once we actually have the ore... Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Looks like my water's out. Or at least halfway. Therefore, I can't uh, sprint. You can see it's going down pretty fast when you sprint. Give me arrows. Free arrows and technically sticks. I could use a fishing pole, honestly. I could really use a fishing pole. So I'm going to have to kill you. You can get closer to me. Sometimes they'll still attack you, but that's just a vanilla Minecraft uh, mechanic. Oop. Yeah, once I miss, I gotta take aim. Another good thing about Flatland. Still pretty easy. to get around and uh, it's also easier to aim and perfect enough to make a fishing rod I'll use that later for now I'm going to need to store some stuff good things uh, good thing to have uh, and actually, I'm going to put that stone in, inside here where my normal anvil will be. And that actually allows me to do another thing. This. I no longer have to worry about this. I'm going to need this that, uh, plan. this look normal, or somewhat normal. There we go. Because now I have my technical anvil, my anvil, technically. And I usually actually prefer to have it right here. But since I wasn't able to do that right now, i put that block there. So, let's do this. Boom, right click, put that in. And there, my fully working setup. Probably shouldn't sprint, as I've apparently worn through a lot of my uh, thirst doing that.
luckily, I'll have some food when this uh, comes around. I can't remember what type of tree that is, but it'll produce a lot. I don't like this tree, honestly. I really don't like it. But yeah, I, got, I need to actually mark where my... Uh, my mine is because I just forgot where it was. I think it was over here somewhere. No. Nope. This is the quickest way to figure out where it is. I'm not anywhere near it. I'm on the opposite side. I'm pretty sure I did that. <laughs> uh, well, I want to say that I was like right here. Yeah, it has to be on this side then. Yeah, but I think it was over here. Eh, don't want that. I think. No, this was not it up here apparently. I know it's somewhere near water. That's why I built it near water so I can at least remember that. Actually I don't even think it's over here. Is it? No. That was loud and annoying. Well great now you're gonna see me about for about three minutes uh Try and remember where I put my mine. <laughs> Actually, I will need to turn on death points. Need to get that out. Toss that. Don't want it. Can't use it at all. Okay, we need it. And X. Where did I put that? I know what for uh I know that it's uh within a hundred meters of my house. And yeah, it has to be over here. Because I remember it uh I remember passing my house a couple of times. So it has to be over here. It's probably on the other side of this, and I just didn't check. <sighs> here we go. <laughs> I just about walked right into it. And again, this is probably the best food for starters. What was it? I think it was that. Alright. Now. Sometimes creepers and stuff will spawn in this and actually I don't mind creepers as much just because they cause a lot of damage and they reveal a lot of ore I'm probably going to kill myself for about here soon I'm just waiting for it <laughs> The good news is, if I uh, cause a cave-in, I won't suffocate to death. I'll have plenty of time to uh, dig myself out. Because that suffocation damage doesn't do anything. And 
since this is only too high, I'll only take uh, technically about two hearts of damage to what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to build a fire here just so I can make some torches. Catching fire, lit. Catching fire, lit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Need a drink. <laughs> Catching fire. Lit. Catching fire. Lit. Don't need terribly too many uh, torches. Actually, I'm going to probably stock up on torches. Just because I eventually will need them. And probably one of the best tools to have in a these cave systems is a uh, torch. It won't hold anything up, but it'll keep the creepers from spawning in, or at least zombies. Zombies are probably the worst thing to do uh, to have in these uh, corridors, or maybe a skeleton actually. Yeah, I guess a skeleton's probably worse. Yeah, you can have pretty much a half stack of torches pretty easily. Uh, just on an initial burn of uh, that. I know I'm gonna come across something soon. Nothing of interest. Very large sample. Nothing of interest. Very large sample. Very large sample. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably below me. I think this one. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably below me, which is sad. Let's see. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Very large sample. Very large sample. That's actually good because that shows me that uh, this area is probably pretty close. And I actually have to dig down. bad news is, if that thing breaks, I'll probably die. Oh. Prevent things from spawning up here. sample. Oh, never dig down. Oh. And what do you know? The exact method of my madness. And its fruits. Now, remember that the, it was just nuggets? These are just full native coppers. I have a lot of it. Contrary to popular belief, this can still cause a cave-in. I've done it before. So be cautious. I've actually caused a, quite a few cave-ins trying to mine out ore. I've actually caused cave-ins with uh, removing torches. So be wary of that too. That's only happened like once, but it's still, it was pretty, pretty frightening. <laughs> Back then, uh, I still had the actual hearts, and I think it pretty much killed me immediately. And the only reason I'm actually digging with uh, this 
directly above my head is because if I'm going to take damage, I'm going to take a small bit. And I actually... This is pretty much the wrapping up point, but we got copper. I'm lagging for some reason. Yeah, I'm... What's causing that? Huh. I'll figure that out next time. Uh, have a good day. I'll see you on the next episode. so the rain doesn't bother me. Uh, have a good day.